Hi, Rob Cavanaugh here again with Bish's RV. It never rains in Junction City, and it especially never rains here at Bish's RV. I'd like to show you this lightly used 2021 Thor Chateau, model number 31WV. You've got decent storage on the outside with these Thor 31WV. You got a nice power awning up top and LED lights. Just to show you some of the storage capacity here, look at that. Pretty good. And you got storage on the other side as well. This is what it's all about. In the Class C, you got a traditional cab over bunk here. Again, you can sleep, you know, two adults comfortably or lots of kids. You know, they can have so much fun up there. Look at this living room setup. I really like the opposing sofa dinette here. This sofa is what they call a jackknife sofa. It converts into a bed very easily. You can also store things underneath here. Water, you know, tools, your first aid kit, stuff like that, jumper cables. <clears throat> Excuse me. This is a dream dinette, pretty standard in the Class C world. This will also break down into a bed. You have storage down here. <laughs> you got a nice integrated 40 inch TV. It's a great viewing angle. You still have the windows here, so it's a win-win. In 2021, Ford changed the motor, so they've gone away from the Ford Triton V10 to the much more very important, the much more fuel efficient Godzilla V8. So it's a win-win. Uh, Ford's new Godzilla V8 gets more fuel efficiency than the old Triton V10 and it has more towing capacity or more torque and more horsepower. So it's a really good deal going to the uh, Godzilla V8. Look at all this counter space. For a Class C motorhome you don't get that. You got these a nice sta a deep stainless steel stainless steel sink. You got a, a nice uh, power thing here. This is uh, in in more modern uh, motorhomes. These are becoming more popular. You got two 110 outlets plus some USB ports here. Lots of pantry space, and again, lots of counter space drawers. You got a nice electric refrigerator here. It's it's pretty big, very deep. So you could put in a lot of cold ones in there. You would be happy for weeks. Microwave, gas stove top. You got the gas oven for your pizzas. You know, you want to do pizza and beer. This is the way to do it. But again, I can't get over how much counter space there is up here. I like this nice rounded molding here, this wall. You don't really see that in Class C motorhomes, so that's kind of a just aesthetically kind of nice looking. A pretty big uh, bathroom, have a look. You got the glass door shower, and again it's light and bright with actually a fair amount of storage in here. And then over here on this side, again, you have more pantry space with some slide outs. Very deep storage. You have a kind of a mini wardrobe here. You got lots of drawers, a dresser here, more food storage here if you want. And then as we move back into the bedroom, you'll see there's an air conditioner just for the bedroom. So you have two air conditioners, one up in the living room space and then one here in the bedroom, so that's really nice. What I really like about this, it's light and bright. You got a lot of windows, uh, you know, uh, light coming in from the outside, but look at the countertops here. It's almost like you have uh, two bedside dressers, really. I mean, you, there's so much space there. You kind of have a nice, you know, office nook right here with some dresser space here and a huge wardrobe. You can hang, you know, his and hers jackets and coats and all of that. Really nice. So this is a lightly used 
2021, it's got low miles. It's priced to sell. Class C's are hard to come by right now. This is a good one. It's a really good floor plan for a small family or even a big family. It, it'll sleep eight quite comfortably. So uh, come on out to Bish's. It's not gonna rain on you, I promise, sort of. And uh, if, you, if, the, if you find this video helpful, please like and subscribe. And again, my name's Rob Cavanaugh. Come on out, have a look at this. We can take it for a test drive. You can ask me whatever questions you want about this. If you're new to motorhoming, I'm a motorhome enthusiast, so I really like these things. I'd be happy to share my knowledge with you. Have a great day.